this one is one I particularly like and I use this one quite often. It's a natural clear crystal again, but the the black bits in it are um, the uh, from Tibet. So this is a black Tibetan crystal. Again, you can see the the way it catches the light um, and it really is quite quite a beautiful crystal. They all have their own healing properties, which may be another time I'll talk to you a bit more about. This one is one I particularly like. This is rose quartz. The quartz often associated with love. And I can remember a long time, a little while ago, well, I think it's probably about six or seven years ago, I did my five ways to well-being on love and how I connect with love. I connect with my family, with friends and with nature and connect with them in love. This is another clear quartz, again naturally occurring and you can see just the beauty of yeah, that stone and that's been under the earth and it's, it's been under pressure, it's been under the heat. Um, and again, they all have healing properties and it's it's up to the individual whether you decide, you know, whether you like to believe it, explore it, whatever. But I personally think that yeah, this is something really special. This one here is beautiful. And this is it actually, this is how it naturally grew and occurred. And this is um, black Tibetan quartz. So it has literally come from Tibet out of the ground. Um, and just the thought that this has taken thousands, millions of years to form and the different aspects of it. Sometimes just holding it and thinking of those years of formation uh, I find it quite quite wonderful and the fact that it is from Tibet um, now some of these other ones are ones that I have been given this was a birthday present from last year and it's so it's got a pyramid which focuses the energy and then the seven arms. So this I could put in the front room as a way to focus energy, to purify any negativity. Um, and again, it's to me, it's something beautiful to hold, to connect with in uh, quite a tactile person. So to actually feel the different arms and the pyramid I think is quite lovely. This I think is one of my real favourites. Now this has been um, man-made correct I think is I don't know if you how else you say it so it's been put in intense heat to crack inside but if you can see the way it glistens and sparkles I, can, I use these quite often as well, especially the clear, clear crystal to help with meditation because you can focus. Um, I also find it really helpful if I'm feeling particularly anxious um, because it's, it's something you can hold in your hand and use as a way to sort of alleviate some of that, um, that anxiety and to support yourself um you know so if we think about these crystals that they've been you know they've gone through such a process over those millions of years and they can store they can transmit energy they can change it and they can really well they really help me in in my life um you can have it as jewellery. I have a rather beautiful uh, rose quartz ring on today and a necklace because for me it's quite a special day today. It's my 
58th birthday and I decided that I was going to take myself right out of my comfort zone on my birthday and do a Recovery Dove and Daily Dally um, video and this is it. So I'd just like to say thank you. I hope you found it interesting. I'd hope to be able to do some more and maybe explain a bit more about each crystal. Um, and also to think about those those five ways to well-being and the one today about how how I connect with crystals that connect to me helping myself and actually to other people because a lot of my friends like like crystals so thank you much everybody and i hope you all have a good day bye